Well, I know what you're thinking. According to the uh, the uh, thumbnail, it should be dark outside, but I just couldn't turn down that thumbnail, honestly. It was just, just too glorious with Winston in the corner. All right, so anyways, we're giving an update at the barn today, as per the usual. Um, some quick things that are missing that aren't going to be here for at least the two weeks, probably. Number one, we're, I like where I keep saying we're going to have a concrete pad out front, and so we won't have my lovely walkway there because it's so stinking muddy and in the door both those will hopefully happen in like two weeks or so uh update since we've last seen the bars it's been a while we've got lights outside now okay so both lights outside i think it's actually the same light i have in the back of my house i'm pretty sure um i don't know <laughs> does it look like i'm in charge let's go inside and then on the side we've got a ring doorbell and another cool light Going inside. Also, I sound congested, so forgive me. Yes, it's dirty, okay? Don't judge me right now. Okay, can I make this wider? Oh, no, I can't. All right, so here's what we currently have. The floor is in. You've already seen that. We've started putting a lot of equipment in here already. Um, I got a storage rack from Rogue that I need to buy another top piece to, but I got another storage rack. We've got a bunch of rollers that we got from Rogue in that I've uh, put together. And we've got, I would say, like... I don't need these on anymore. I would say I've got like 80% of the equipment from my from my barn gym. I've got all the equipment I have in C3 here. Um, so I've got about 80% of the equipment in the barn gym here. Some of it's like, I got like the pig. Uh, gosh, I'm like random odds and ends, not a huge deal. Um, some of the big pieces that we still have to do, the big piece is the rig. Um, so I think I've talked about this already but I'll discuss it again for you that weren't in the last video, is I've got, so rig verticals. I've got tall ones with shrimp trawlers, okay, at like 10 feet. I've got short verticals at nine feet, okay? I've got four of each. I've actually got a short one. I've got three here, but I got a fourth one that's getting powder coated again. So how it's gonna look like for the rig is I'm actually gonna take all of these tall ones of shrimp trawlers out away from the wall, I'm going to put short, four shorter ones against the wall, and my rig will essentially look like this, but only with sh um, short ones. The rig will be 80 inches off the wall. That'll guarantee that I can do bar muscle-ups because of the angle of my ceiling, okay? Now, I have four taller ones left over. What are you going to do with those? Let's find out. Two of them, okay, one on each post. There's going to be one on each post, so two of them I'm using here. I'm going to bolt it into the ground bolt it into the rig, it'll come off with a shrimp trawler and allow you to do ring muscle-ups right here because I won't be able to do ring muscle-ups on this rig. The second one I'll put on this post and then the other two tall ones and I'm going to have two more shorter ones made will go against this wall and that wall. So I'll probably put a tall one here, a short one here with a bar in between, another squat rack that I'll have a, a muscle-up spot here and then I'll have the same thing here, a tall one and a short one. The reason for that being symmetric, it looks tall because the ceiling's taller there than it is there. And then I'll have a muscle-up spot, a flying shrimp trawler that'll come off there too. So that's kind of the idea um, for there. Uh, got the belt squat machine in the corner. It's not hooked up yet. I still need to fix the flooring next to the door. Um, this door, of course, goes outside. Show you how it looks. It's on like a spring, so it's actually pretty nice. It pretty, works pretty well. So there's the range in the back. And that's pretty simple. All right, let's put this back down. Eh. Don't mind me. Ah. The bathroom is completely done. We're actually doing a walkthrough later today with our general contractor. Bathroom's done. It's got two lights over the mirror on a switch and then a vent and a overhead light on a different switch. Um, this thing's complete. I'm going to ask my general contractor about this today. I'm really not sure why I have leaking water, if I'm being honest, but I'm going to ask him today what the issue is. Um, so got most of the equipment in here. The only thing that's left, of course, is the big door. I'm keeping the temperature in the barn at 45 degrees. Unless I come in here, then I'll crank it at like 60, but I'm going to keep it at 45 probably overnight to make sure that at least during the winter time, you know, I have water pipes, so I can't let those suckers freeze. Um, the remainder of equipment that I got to put in here, um, uh, it's mostly just odds and ends that I'll probably find, find the corners for. 
the big power, the a big thing left over is this corner right here where you walk in. I'm really not sure how I'm going to use this just yet, but I think I'm going to have um, some couches here and the table there that I'll use for kind of just a, hey, walk in, put your stuff down kind of area. And then I'll probably put my rolling desk over there also. Um, but all the lighting is done. I guess I could show you that, can't I? So I've got all the outdoor lighting and all the indoor lighting. So there's here. I mean, you can't really tell that well, but it's all separated and they're actually all on dimmers. All the inside lights are on dimmers. Uh, so I can I dim the far one there. I can dim this one. So you can dim them all separately, which is actually really cool. And it's gonna be really good for photography and videography. Um, then of course the clock's gonna go on that wall over there. And honestly, I don't really, I don't really know what else to show you guys. It's a really cool gym. I'm really excited to finish it up. We actually, um, we're renting a floor cleaner today. I have a floor cleaner coming in and I'm renting for a day so I can clean this dirty, disgusting floor up. It's this way because we laid it and it's just muddy as crud outside. So it just needs to be cleaned up. And Kelly is actually running a Galentine's party in here um, this weekend. And so she's got tables and chairs for a bunch of her friends. And they're gonna come in here and have a party for no dudes, I guess, because look at all these heart plates. Isn't that cute? Anyways, that is my update. I will give you another update shortly as we get more uh, more stuff done, uh, and more stuff cleaned. And then of course, kind of the last thing to close out is I got the speakers over here. I'm probably gonna replace these at some point, but for right now, I've got speakers over here on this table. So that is my update. Have a wonderful day, we'll talk to you later. See ya.